Hello everyone and welcome back to Freemore, my Sims 2 Build a City Challenge. We are here with uh, Marla and Charlie and their three children now. Um, Celeste, who she is holding right now, yes. Um, that is Laura. And Peter is this little baby right here. Um, okay, so before I forget, we're going to do taxes for them which um i believe is a hundred simoleons and then i actually think that we're gonna add i'm gonna have them send an extra five thousand actually because as i was reading some people's build a city things they said at the beginning a lot of times they made them uh spend more money or send more money to the city funds so that we can um build community lots and things like that faster um and town improvements and things like that which i think is a good idea especially um because they have like the biggest family uh right now and um charlie is a family sim and eudora is while well, she's a fortune sim i think that she she has decent nice points and they do have a large family and like i think that it's sort of like a wanting to have like nice things in the community too and not like you know not she's not like a money hoarder she just wants to have like nice things um so we added an extra five thousand and we are gonna choose George is the recipient. You're going to send that. And um before I play George's next uh round, which should be oh gosh, this is so cute. Um, but George's next round is going to be, you know, the next household. Okay. Hold on. Pictures. Gosh, that's so good. They're so cute. Okay. Eh. Um, so. <laughs> of course there's a baby bottle. There we go. That'll be good. Uh, I'm going to may possibly go back through the other two households and have them send more money too and I will say how much uh if I do end up doing that I'll say how much at the end, beginning of the next round like and the reasons I had them spend that much that kind of thing uh so that maybe they will have enough to buy a lot and do whatever the next the first sort of community development thing will be I need to stop running into this wall what are you angry about you already went away. Okay. Let's check in. Oh, he. When I first lit a lot, he did want another baby, but I think having three of them, one of which on the one of which is on the floor when they shouldn't be, is uh, putting that off a little bit. I do love though when Sims have both want a baby and fear having a baby <laughs> in. Uh, in on um, the same time and because i feel like i mean i'm not a parent but if i like i feel like that's very uh like a common sort of feeling <laughs> uh when you have young kids um entertain play with i wonder if that'll trigger that yep it does Excellent. So cute. Oh, somebody's asking for something. Asked to be read to. Cry. Which one are you? This one. Okay. Why are you crying, baby? Oh, your aspiration is real not good. Okay. She wants to be played with. She wants to learn to talk. She is a about to use the restroom. <laughs> Let's, because uh, I'm pretty sure this is the game where they have to actually you. They have to use their the restroom for you to be able to potty train them. I feel like in Sims 3 that's not the case, but I could be wrong. 
Um, actually, do we have like something that looks a little less fancy? I mean, this one is kind of, but it looks even fancier. So we're just gonna go with the, the plastic one, pick like a super plain thing and put it right there. Do we have a trash can inside? Okay, we do, good. Okay, you need to like stop painting and take care of your child. Uh, okay, Alora's the one with the shorter pigtails. <laughs> Nope, you are not gonna, I, I see, I see what you're doing here and it looks like you're about to set your baby on the floor and you're not gonna do that. You're going, she put Peter in a crib. <laughs> yep, yep, see, I knew it. You had that look in your eyes. So, what is Celeste up to? Okay, this needs to like be cleaned up. <laughs> um, you also need to use the bathroom but your sister is busy. Okay, have you come in here and mop this up? Oh, not this, please. Are you really telling me you can't just like step over your baby? <sighs> okay, fine. So that's fine. You're gonna empty this. Clean these up. Fine, just just read so the in the place where nobody can get. You can step over your child. Oh my gosh. Oh well. At least you can throw it in the trash can. Actually, we should probably because I forgot actually do that in the bathroom so that'll be fine um oh, except i can't put it there because there's puddles but we're doing pretty good right now you're so pretty so pretty um okay so what are your needs oh her aspiration's not go doing good um see if i just ignore this marry a rich sim want until they're rich then she can marry him <laughs> Uh, and I don't think either of those are uh, currently available to you. I'm sorry. Do you want a silver pottery badge? Do we have? Yes, pottery table is over here. I feel like they should open a home business also to sell. Well, I definitely should have uh, Eudora open home business next time to sell toys for the children which oh by the way I wanted to buy some toddler toys that um and I I've spent so much time looking up like different build a city challenge rules to see what people were saying about um the uh what people were saying about buying stuff from the buy catalog and I couldn't find a lot other than you can't sell things in your home business from the buy catalog, which I'm like, okay, but can I buy them for myself? Um, so I'm pretty much sticking to things that, um, uh, that could theoretically, they could theoretically, uh, sort of cobble together themselves or may have brought with them. Um, so, like, they can make, you know, this little... I could see Eudora making, you know, a little xylophone and a little... This is just, you know, blocks. Um, and... But I'm not going to get this charisma bunny because she couldn't make that... Uh, Stuffed animals, Mia, probably? I don't know, she doesn't do sewing. I mean, there is a sewing machine badge or whatever, but, like, nobody has that, so... And, like, this stuff, I'm not gonna do. Um, I mean, this is something they probably could have bought with them or brought with them, or, like, we'll just pretend it doesn't look quite as nice as it actually does. Um, or like something like this, that, that's 
pretty simple. Dollhouse is probably a little too complicated. That's, that definitely looks too nice. That one maybe? It's a little plainer. Um, anyways, that's just kind of my logic behind things and I think that works. Or like toy box, maybe. I don't know, but then like, they'd have all these like rockets and things. Um, okay, anyways, enough blabbering about rules about child's toys. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it'd be cute if uh, Marla and Charlie opened a little shop that was like fish and pottery. <laughs> um, and also another thing I needed to do, is you need to like stop reading to your kid. Okay, um, <laughs> that's a great, that's a great way to put it. Uh, and wait, were you even the one with the stuff in your inventory? I think you both, yeah, okay. I'm gonna stock the fridge. Oh, I need to like unpack these or something. Yeah, uncrate, 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 and then he can stock the fridge. Yay, I love the tea set. It looks so fun. Oh, I forgot to put the walls back down again. Um, oh, something I was thinking about uh, that you'll probably notice is I'm going to restructure the episodes a little bit. Um, where instead of trying to predict how long any given episode is going to take and uh, introduce slash uh, exit, exit, to say goodbye, end <laughs> the podcast, er, podcast, I am, it's late. <laughs> uh, oh, somebody has to go potty. Okay. Um, what are you doing? Are you doing something? Okay, you... Okay, she's already gonna need it. Uh, her diaper changed. Um, okay, so, and right, uh, instead of deciding or trying to d predict when I'm going to be ending any episode, um, I'm going to just introduce at the beginning of a round and say goodbye at the end of a round. And I'm kind of taking that cue from a podcast I listen to called Friends at the Table where they sort of do that with recording sessions. Like they don't, uh, like they, I think they record maybe two or three episodes at a time and then split it up after the fact. At least that's kind of what it seems like from when I listen. Um, and I think that that's a better way to do it because it's, uh, that way it's a little more consistent, um, because, uh, as you will have, will have seen that by the time you see this one, uh, the last round, I think split up into three episodes because it was just really long. And I, I try to keep the episodes between 20 and 35 minutes each. Cause then I get to 40, I cut it in half at 20. It just seems like a good a good time that's not going to chase off people that are like, oh no, that's so long. Um, so, okay. You are changing a diaper? Did you already do that? Okay, I think so. Yes, and she's getting pretty sleepy, so you can actually put Celeste in the crib. Like, I feel like the, the it's going to be like four episodes or something in uh, this household just because they're, I've, with two toddlers and a baby, I have to micromanage like everything. There's not a lot of letting it fast forward and then do their thing. Uh, okay, so you're putting her in the crib and then you're going to come use the grown up toilet. I almost clicked on the port, or the, the not the porta potty, the like toddler potty. Um, and then you need to come change your son's diaper. <laughs> oh 
no, my infant is naked. That's that's not that's just how it goes. Um Okay. Oh, look how sweet you look. I love it. Oh, so cute. I love that hair too for like toddlers. It's real cute. Um, okay, so put Peter in the crib and oh no, I left that on the counter instead of putting it away. It was like in Marla's inventory for reasons I'm not sure about. Oh, is this like, that's going to be in the way, I guess. That's a problem. Okay, well, <laughs> stop whining about it and clean it, my dear. Fix the toilet first, because that's just going to make that problem worse. And, uh, oh dear, that's not going to be good. What are you? You're mostly just tired, too. So, put in crib. Which one are you? Laura. Yes. Shorter pigtails, Laura. Got it. Um, please succeed in, in unclogging this. That's all. That's all I want from you. I know, buddy. I know. I can't really do anything about that right now. Um, clean. Just toss that. Um, and then I'll have you eat, I guess. Is that? Please tell me you fixed it. Okay, good. You're gonna mop this up. You can actually put that off for a second and go use the restroom. And actually, you're doing, you're not gonna like starve to death right this second, so you can. Oh yeah, I actually just realized that we will be able to see one of the trait, uh, trait mods in action with this round. I was wondering, I don't think so. Um, but you can actually have Mooch Sims beg for money, which I think is kind of fun. Um, This is cute. They're like doing chores together. Um. <gasps> Look at that, Charlie cleaned something on his own. I was just about to make him do it, but he just went ahead and did it. Oh no, I was like, oh yeah, he can fish. And no, no he can't right now because the lake is frozen. I'm so sad, can he skate? No, that's not a thing. Um. Okay. They're both pretty hungry, so they're gonna have some breakfast. Um, get leftovers. Get leftovers. She has a lot of peppers too. I was so surprised that she didn't, <laughs> there wasn't any leftovers in the fridge because uh, at Udara and Claire's, they're, they just are constantly cooking more food. Uh, so let's see. Serve breakfast. Let's do that. I'm sorry, your parents are really hungry. They'll let you out in a second. Oh yes, hold on. The t oh no, is it not doing it? Oh, yeah, I forgot I have this mod <laughs> where they can just get up on their own. But there's the, like, this toddler screaming in the crib and their, uh, like, teeth come out of their jaws. That's always terrifying. Okay. So that's a bad place for the xylophone. Maybe here? 
That's kind of out of the way, probably. And what is your personality? You are very lazy, but playful, outgoing, super neat, nice. What are your traits again? Angler and workaholic. Nothing is telling me whether or not you would rather play with blocks or a xylophone. The blocks are closer. That's so cute. She's so cute. I love her so much. She might be my new favorite. Oh, Jesus. No. This is a... Okay, good. I was like, you can extinguish things, right? Stop freaking out and put it out. Please. Oh, God. Please. Oh my god, you've been putting this out forever. Okay. Oh boy. That's some serious aspiration failure right there. My poor dear. Oh no, now you're both doing it. Why? Okay, <laughs> they're just really upset about this fire because it could have gone really badly. You want to have another baby now? Um, only being able to lock one want, like, stresses me out. I'm like, I don't know which one to pick. I mean, they're both about- Oh, Jesus. Scared the shit out of me. Alright, buddy. Do your work. Okay. Please eat the food. Oh no, he's getting it. That's fine. Okay. Empty. Take a bath. No, I'm not letting you do that. Uh, okay. Let's have you just crawl over here. You need to finish eating. Oh yeah, Claire's still pregnant. That's cute. Hello. I wonder, it would be really cute if she could rub her sister's belly. We'll do that. We'll talk to baby. I, I know you're stinky, but go go hang out with your sister for like two seconds. Please. Nope. Man, he has taken a sweet time in the bath. Your wife also, or not wife, I keep calling your wife and she's, they are not married. Um, okay, I kind of, these ones are still sticking around, so I kind of want to flip a coin and see uh, which one he is we're gonna lock in so because i'm not i'm just not really having a feeling one way or the other the the metagame in me wants to do 
have a baby because they're probably not going to be getting married for a while since she wants to marry a rich sim, which I kind of take as not that she wants to marry someone else, but she wants to be more well established before they actually have a wedding. She wants to have like a big wedding and or like whatever, just like be like comfortable before they get married. Um, so oh, he rolled two. That is a uh, lock and get married, getting married, which is going to. He wants to get married now because they have three kids together. <laughs> uh, she is like, I don't know. I want to wait and uh, work on my pottery some. So we'll see. <laughs> We'll see what happens there. Um, okay, so still that hygiene. How are the kids doing? Bladder. Okay, that is this one. No, that's that one. So Celeste, can you potty train Celeste? I'm just like prioritizing potty training since you kind of ha you can't really uh, grind that out at one time. <laughs> Claire's just holding on to Peter, which is kind of nice. Oh, that's cute. Okay, you're like really standing too close. Um, okay, can you like take the baby from her? I don't think that's a thing. Okay. Um, let, uh, let's have you put Peter in a crib and then I'll get her to give him up. Maybe? Nope. Okay. Um, Celeste is asking you for attention. She wants to be played with. I'm worried Claire's just never going to give us the baby back. Um, okay. So they are friends. What is her, okay, she wants to talk with her mom, that's fine. Let's do teach to talk. Hopefully that will maybe increase her, his fun? I don't really know. No. Oh, come on, talking to your kid is fun. Okay, Claire finally put the baby down. Let's get, let's get Peter back in the crib. Um. And let's see if we can actually have her interact with her sister's baby. Oh, damn. Okay, that that doesn't look good. She's like no, don't touch me, please. I am grumpy. Don't want to be touched. Fine. Can I talk to your belly at least? Oh, wow. She's like, no, please don't. Probably, I think, because uh, Marla hasn't really talked to her yet and she's like don't just interact with the baby um so he is napping on the couch um okay so how are you doing energy wise Wait, we have a toy table over here? That must just be from when Eudora still lived here, probably. Does anybody else have, like, a badge? Brown's fishing. Yeah, nobody has this, so we're gonna... Yeah, we don't need this here. Um, and we are going to could probably put something else in that corner, but I don't know what. Um, and he needs to have some, f oh, he can, cause he's a couch potato that I think, no, 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 he's not. Maybe it's a mooch. 
Or because of his personnel? He, oh, he's uh, real lazy. So I think that's why he has the veg out interaction. Hopefully that will increase his fun. No, comfort. Okay. I was hoping it would be fun. I love this, though. He's just like, eh, whatever. Hopefully Claire will just take care of the children while we're sleeping. Nope, she left. That's fine. He is... I need him to multitask. But, okay. So babies first. So babies don't get taken away. First, let's do this baby. Change diaper for Peter. Stop looking at the snow. Yes, it's snowing. And then... You're gonna feed her, right? No, don't put her in the crib. Get her a bottle. Uh, get bottle for Laura. Okay, so Peter's fine. Put in crib, Peter. Actually, before we do that, play with him a little bit. Maybe that'll, if I just like, I know you're holding him, that's fine. Just play with him. Hoping it'll just, if we just very slowly get his fun up. Oh shit. That is a hungry baby. Hold on. Put in crib Peter. Ah! I know, I know. Please, just drink the bottle. Okay. Stop. Stop picking her up. Please just let your child eat. And they need to get a high chair so that they'll stay put and eat. Um... Oh, okay. Let's see. <laughs> Maybe, uh, let's do a super, super quick flirt just to get your aspiration up a tiny bit. Stop trying to hold your baby, please. Oh my God. Oh. Inside joke to Claire. Cuddle Peter. That's fine. Okay. Cool. 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 